In the world of cryptozoology, the monster from Loch Ness occupies the top spot next to Bigfoot. The legend of Nessie, as she is called, can be traced back 1,500 years. Some people who claim to have seen this mysterious creature describe Nessie as a long-necked creature with a hump on its back like a dinosaur. It is estimated to be about 15 to 40 feet long and weigh about 2,500 pounds. Until now, after 1,500 years, sightings of this mysterious creature are still occurring. This is the story of Nessie from time to time. People often call the Lake Loch Ness, but that title is not quite right. Loch itself means lake, so Loch Ness means Lake Ness. Loch Ness is located in northern Scotland. This lake is one of the largest lakes in Scotland, only less large than Loch Lomond. It is 24 miles long and 1 mile wide with a depth of up to 1,000 feet. During the Ice Age around 12,000 years ago, Scotland was initially covered by giant glaciers. When the glaciers began to melt, the slowly moving water flow also eroded the rocky areas to fill the area. When the water recedes, land appears, forming lakes. This makes it possible for marine creatures to get trapped in the lake. Over a period of thousands of years, the salt water in the lake turned into fresh water causing animals that could not adapt to become extinct. But it seems some animals are able to survive. The bottom of the lake is covered with black soil and its particles float all over the lake water. This makes the Loch Ness water dark black. This factor is one of the causes of the difficulty of investigating the creatures that live in the lake. Some geographers say that Loch Ness is the deepest lake in Europe. If it is emptied then 15 billion people will fit into it. Nessie is often compared to the plesiosaurs which were thought to have become extinct 60 million years ago. Plesiosaurs themselves are cold-blooded animals that need warmth from the surrounding environment. Scientifically speaking, a plesiosaur would not have been able to survive in a cold water environment like Loch Ness. After all, he needs air to breathe. If Nessie were a plesiosaur, then of course sightings would be more common. However, it is possible that Nessie was descended from a plesiosaur that had learned to adapt to its new environment. The term Nessie was first coined by a newspaper journalist in 1933, and since then Nessie has gone global. Nessie's history, however, is much older than that. Starting in 565 AD, a Christian missionary named Saint Columba encounters a group of people burying a body that is said to have been attacked by a lake monster. He then sent someone to investigate. When the boat messenger Saint Columba is in the lake, the monster appears and prepares to attack. Messenger of Saint Columba was so scared she couldn't move. Saint Columba who witnessed the incident from the shore of the lake immediately crossed himself and shouted, you can't go any further go away. The monster immediately left. It was the first documented report of a Nessie sighting. Not surprisingly, following the events of the meeting of Saint Columba and Nessie, people call the Lake Loch N.A. Beist which means Lake of the Beasts. There have been many sightings of this monster reported over hundreds of years, here are some of the most mentioned and recounted. In 1725, a group of English soldiers arrived in Scotland to build a road to the south of the lake and suddenly they heard voices. Weird in the water. Then they saw two monsters as big as whales swimming across the lake. In 1919, Margaret Cameron and her three siblings encountered a monster moving through the trees toward the lake in Inch Nac Arctic Bay. According to them the monster had two small round legs and moved like a caterpillar. Another person named Alfred Cruikshank also witnessed this monster on land. In April 1923, he was driving his car when he saw a 6 feet, 1.8 meters, tall monster with a hump on its back standing in front of it. According to him the monster has four big legs like elephant legs. According to him again, the animal made a loud squealing sound. 
1933, workers who were also building a road near the lake used dynamite to break up boulders. This explosion caused rocks to tumble into the lake. This incident seems to bother Nessie. He came to the surface of the water to look at the workers, then back into the water. In that 1933, at least 50 sightings were reported. In March 1933, John McKay and his wife were driving when they heard a crash in the water. Then they saw a large black shape with two humps surfacing and swimming in the lake. On July 22, 1933, George F. T. Spicer and his wife even saw Nessie crossing the street while they were driving indoors and foyers. According to them Nessie has a long neck about 6 to 8 feet with a high back. The total length is about 25 feet. On January 5, 1934, at 1 p.m., a man named Arthur Grant was riding his motorbike when he almost hit a creature north of Abraican. The creature panicked then quickly threw itself into the lake. Grant stated that the creature had a long neck with a tail that was also long and large. His eyes are oval and big. Since St. Columba, there are at least about 2,000 reported sightings of this mysterious creature. In the time since the creation of the camera, there have been over 50 photographs produced which are thought to be appearances of Nessie, but only six of them have survived testing. The other photos are hoaxes or misidentifications. It is nearly impossible to determine whether the widely circulated photographs of Nessie are real or fake. Nowadays, someone who engineered an apparition usually engineered a photo. But at that time when computers did not exist, those who engineered the appearance would manipulate the object that was photographed. This is what makes it difficult for researchers to determine the authenticity of a photo. Below are stories of sightings of the Loch Ness Monster that were caught on camera and produced the most famous photographs of Nessie in the world. The oldest photograph of Nessie is that of a farmer named Hugh Gray. On November 12, 1933 he witnessed a strange creature moving in the lake. The creature appeared on the surface of the water for a few moments. Hugh Gray said that he saw a creature with gray skin and looked slippery. At that time, he held a camera and immediately took five photos. However, only one photo was successfully processed. However, an observer from the British Museum said that Gray's photo was just a lot that drifted into the lake. In April 1934, Dr. Robert Kenneth Wilson claimed to have obtained a photograph of Nessie. This photo eventually became the most famous photo of Nessie in the world known as the Surgeon Photo. But in 1992, scientists discovered that the photo was a fake. A hunter named Marmaduke Wetherell and his adopted son built a model using a submarine's periscope and photographed it. The photo was submitted to Dr. Robert Wilson, and Dr. Wilson turned it over to the Daily Mail newspaper in April 1934. July 14, 1951, a Forestry Commission employee named Lachlan Stewart managed to photograph a mysterious hump that appeared to the surface. Twenty years later scientists who visited the monster's location discovered that the waters were shallow. This concludes that Stewart's monster has a thin body. Later, author Richard Frere said that Stewart confessed to engineering the object using tarpaulin and straw. In 1955, a bank manager named Mr. McNabb took a photograph showing the shaking in the water near Urquhart Castle. The photo is considered to be one of the clearest photos of Nessie ever obtained. This led to the theory that Nessie might be living under Urquhart Castle. This theory also arises because the many photos of Nessie taken show him near the ancient castle. In 1960, Aeronautical engineer Tim Dinsdale managed to photograph a hump moving in water. But many people doubt it and think that the hump is actually a boat. But Dinsdale's photo received support from Discovery Communication. When they were making the documentary about Nessie, they used Dinsdale's photograph and they noticed there was a black shadow on the negative that wasn't visible in the photo. When they examined it, 
they saw what looked like the forelimbs, fins, and humps that looked like they belonged to an animal. A former marine captain named Frank Searle who arrives in Loch Ness in search of monsters. Loch Ness in 1972 claimed success in taking a number of photographs of Nessie, most of which soon appeared in the media. However, the photos he took were soon revealed to be fabricated. For example, the photo below is considered a photo of a floating log. The photo below is said to have been taken in 1972. However, the exact identity of the photographer is not known. Maybe this photo was also taken by Searle. There is a resemblance to the photo above, after all, the year is the same. August 7, 1972, an expedition led by Dr. Robert Rhines of the Academy of Applied Sciences managed to take a photo that shows the fin-like image of a mysterious creature. In 1975, the Academy got even clearer photos of Nessie. The image in this photo shows a strange creature with a horse-shaped head. This photo is a recent photo of Nessie. This photo was taken in 2009 by a couple on a weekend in Loch Ness. Ian Monkton and his fiancée Tracy Gordon were driving by a lake when they heard a loud thud in the water. They stopped the car and immediately photographed the origin of the shaking sound with the camera. And this photo was caught on camera. The object in the photo looks like the back of a large animal. However, experts who saw the photo concluded that this photo could mean anything because it was unclear what object was captured. There have been many attempts, scientific or otherwise, to locate Nessie. Countless expeditions have been carried out. Many of these resulted in the recordings and photographs we see today. In 1934, a wealthy British man named Sir Edward Mountain hired 20 men to observe the Loch Ness for up to 10 hours a day. Each man is equipped with a camera and binoculars. The observing operation lasted up to six months but produced only a few indistinct photographs of the water shaking. In 1961, British scientist Maurice Burton put forward the theory that Nessie was a long-necked otter. These otters can grow to be six to eight feet long. But Burton's theory has never been proven. In the early 1960s, the Loch Ness Investigation Bureau was established with the aim of investigating Nessie's whereabouts. They patrol submarines, use sonar technology and scan the surface of the water. In addition they use hydrophones to listen for unusual sounds from under the water. The LNIB was eventually forced to disband after a decade of fruitlessness. Although they managed to produce a film footage of an unknown fish eating another aquatic animal and another footage showing a group of salmon apparently avoiding big creatures in the water. Also in the 1960s, a British engineer led the Loch Ness expedition where his observations over the course of six days resulted in film footage showing a huge creature moving through the water at 10 miles per hour. In the 1970s, the idea developed to drain the Loch Ness to solve the mystery once and for all. But this idea was quickly rejected considering it takes about 10 years for the entire contents of the lake to dry up. In 1987, the British Loch Ness Project started Operation Deep Scan. Some of the research found a giant object but could not identify it clearly. Nessie hunting expeditions continue today. To skeptics, the Loch Ness Monster exists only in imagination, misperceptions, lies and jokes. But for residents around the lake, the Loch Ness Monster is a real legend. Whatever Nessie's creature is, whether it exists or not, whether he is still alive or not, this creature has actually helped the lives of residents around Loch Ness. The economy is moving, now there are many hotels and inns around it, boat rental companies and souvenir shops. It doesn't look like the legend of the monster of the Loch Ness will be fading away anytime soon.